The highly anticipated Boeing 777X is set to debut in late 2024. However, with the market ever shifting towards smaller planes, could the 777X be the last big jet of its kind? As new generations of planes make huge efficiency and range gains, the future of big wide bodies has been thrown into doubt. Indeed, it was only two decades ago that twin-engine planes displaced quad jets like the A380 and 747, ending over 40 years of dominance. With the end of the Airbus A380 program, the 777X will be the largest commercial aircraft in production. The larger variant can seat 426 passengers in a two-class layout with a range of 13,500 kilometers or 8,390 miles. This puts it well ahead of the A350-1000 in terms of capacity. But the big question is, will it find similar success? We think that the 777X is likely to see far fewer sales than the ultra-successful 777-300ER. This is for a few reasons, which we will discuss here. The 777 is targeted at a specific market, flagship long-haul routes. The jet is largely meant to replace the Boeing 777-300ER and 747, as well as the Airbus A380 for carriers seeing aging fleets. However, don't expect to see booming sales. The biggest threat to the 777X is smaller, wide bodies. These include the A350 and Boeing's own 787. With a similar range profile but lower capacity, airlines have shifted many 777-300 routes to these new generation aircraft. These smaller jets are easier to fill and offer more operational flexibility, able to access more airports than jets with longer wingspans. With Hub Airlines still going strong, the 777X is set to become the flagship at carriers like Emirates, Qatar Airways and Lufthansa. This is because of its high capacity, which is critical to the Hub model and for slot-restricted airports like London Heathrow or Hong Kong International. Emirates remains the largest 777 customer to date, with 115 planes on the order books. However, its commitment has wavered in recent years with some reports suspecting that the airline is looking to switch some 777s to the smaller 787. But coming back to the question, is the 777X the last of its kind? The answer is no, but we do think that it is one of the last. As airlines push for smaller planes that can go further, the size of aircraft will continue to shrink without huge changes in engine technology. Expect to see more planes like the 787 and A321 XLR in the future rather than the 777X. The first sign that the 777X is likely to be one of the last of its kind is that Airbus is not working on a clean sheet competitor today. Instead, we might see a re-engined version of the A350 as the competitor. That doesn't mean things won't change in the future, but only that the A321 XLR is the company's priority for now. This is also reflected in order numbers for the 777X. The smaller 777-8 has seen few orders, leading to news that it may just be scrapped. The 7 comprises almost all the 320 orders for passenger planes. At the time of making this video, there doesn't seem to be much indication that big 777 operators like America, United, Air France or KLM have plans to take on the jet. But this may eventually change as their existing 777-300ERs get older. For now, however, it's just too difficult to know what the future holds for these 777 operating airlines. What do you think about the future of the 777X? Will we see Airbus develop a competitor? Or will the A350-1000 remain the plane maker's largest jet? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.